topics, Catholic spirituality, doctrine, history, apologetics, and current events. From the housetops, coming up next. A very blessed Christmas to all of you from all of us at From the Housetops Radio. Welcome to our Christmas special, Christmas Music by the Slaves of the Immaculate Heart of Mary Choir from their new CD, By the Manger. You can order your copy of By the Manger by visiting saintbenedict.com gift shop. S-A-I-N-T, benedict.com gift shop. Child, heaven sent this holy bird, blessed 
we approach the crib to pray. Little Jesus, we shall see and adore on bending knee. In his poor and humble dress, he will smile and kindly bless. Listening to WQPH 89.3 FM, a Christmas special by the Slaves of the Immaculate Heart of Mary Choir from their new CD, By the Manger. You can order your copy of By the Manger by visiting SaintBenedict.com gift shop. That's S A I N T Benedict.com gift shop. With grace. 
You're listening to WQPH 89.3 FM, a Christmas special by the Slaves of the Immaculate Heart of Mary Choir from their new CD, By the Manger.
A very blessed Christmas to all of you from all of us. You can order your copy of By the Manger by visiting stbenedict.com gift shop. From the House Tops is produced by the slaves of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, Still River, Massachusetts. Well, Merry Christmas to you and to your family and all your loved ones. This is Mary Ann Harold from WQPH wishing you all a blessed Christmas and a very prosperous and peaceful New Year. We are now in the fourth and final week of Advent, and Christmas will be here before we know it. All four candles of the Advent wreath are fully aglow, filling the room with light to remind us of how close we are to the arrival of the light of the world. And we can read in Genesis that it's all part of God's plan from the beginning. We read in the very second sentence of the Bible, God said, let there be light, and there was light. God saw that the light was good, God then separated light from the darkness. John, when he speaks about Jesus, tells us in the beginning of his gospel, Jesus was the light of the human race. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. When we read the nativity story in Luke, we learn that the shepherds are keeping watch at night over their flock, and then the angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. We can only imagine how bright and awesome the glory of the Lord was to them on that dark night. The Magi, too, were guided to Jesus by the light from the star of Bethlehem. Bethlehem was no big metropolis like Jerusalem. As we read the prophecy from Micah, it says, But you, Bethlehem, Ephrathah, least among the clans of Judah, from you shall come forth for me one who is to be the ruler in Israel. Bethlehem actually translates as house of bread, and the manger he was laid in was a feeding box in a stable for animals to eat from. We get the word manger from manger, which means to eat. So the light of the world is born in the house of bread and laid in a feeding box. When we head to Mass this Christmas, let us look for the light of the sanctuary lamp, shining next to the feeding box that contains the bread of life. For the God who came to us that Christmas day is still with us in the tabernacle. This is Matt Maloney from knowthefaith.net. On the WQPH 89.3 FM community calendar, a temporary change in adoration at St. Bernard's Parish at St. Camillus Church on Mechanic Street in Fitchburg, Massachusetts. The Monday adoration which normally takes place from 8.30 a.m. to 7 p.m. every Monday, will not take place on Christmas Day or New Year's Day. So if you are scheduled for adoration or if you plan to visit the church to adore on Monday, Christmas Day, or Monday, New Year's Day, between the hours of 8.30 a.m. and 7 p.m., there will be no adoration. Normal adoration will take place on both Tuesdays, the 26th, the Feast of Stephen, and January 2nd at the normal 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. This has been the WQPH 89.3 FM Community Calendar.